Okay, massive bridge here going over a river and you can see how tall it is and it also has another hidden dangerousness. There's holes between the sleepers and if you misplace your feet, you could fall to your death. Just remember, a lot of these sleepers are quite rotten. It's recently been raining and a lot of the sleepers are slippery. Some of the sleepers are also very bouncy and bendy. So let's go. Hey! Sun, surf, sand, slurp juice, slime, and other essential times at Surfers Paradise are all things that we avoided when Schoolies time rolled around for us in 2016. What would outdoorsy nerds do instead of partying with lots of lovely ladies in Queensland, Byron Bay or Bali? Hiking 176 kilometers for two weeks along a historic abandoned train line with a team of sweaty young men is what they would do. So join us as we embark on an unforgettable gunzicular journey of a lifetime filled with nonsense, sleepers, stations, soups, sprouters, snakes, and smelly socks. This is hiking the abandoned South Gippsland Railway Line. Hello and welcome to part four of the South Gippsland Railway Line video series. If you have not watched the previous parts in this series, I would strongly recommend you watch them before watching this one. And without further ado, enjoy. All right, last night's video ended very abruptly because it started raining, so then we just went into the tents and went to sleep. So anyway, it's the next day, so let's get going. Mostly gonna get, I'm gonna try and get some shots with the the um, sleepers are steaming in the morning sun. There's a steam, there's a steam. That's where TJ sit and my tent was. This is where Floyd and Cameron's tent was. All right, so we're leaving the turntable, we're leaving camp for the day and uh, Yep, let's go! Today me and Floyd have decided to walk in our sandals um, because we're sick of our soaking wet hiking shoes. Um, so the road on the turntable, or the track for um, you non-rail fans, which went into oblivion, comes out here. Yep, and it goes into the turntable where we stayed and I love those old lights too, those are awesome. Would have thought it's raining again today. Woohoo! We are gonna go and check out the op shop, which is actually in the old station building. Now, the toy area of the op shop was once the signal box. Very interesting. This op shop has tonnage. Try it on the nose. These are actually some solid prices. Oh. Schmoovies! I've got this at home, but I don't use it. Bionicle. Practical typewriting. A career course. A shed of goodies. That is a funky ironing board. You definitely want to come and check out this op shop because it's got great quality products and it's also in an ancient rail building. So, you know, if you're into that, Grouse Place, definitely come check it out. Completed with the op shop, I didn't get anything, but it was definitely awesome. All right, I'm gonna go hit up the bathrooms. <laughs> So uh, pretty much myself and Cameron uh, leaving from Nyora. 
Um, yeah, we'll be heading back into the city and uh, Les and Floyd will continue their walk to Currumburra. So which one are you getting? Uh, leather suit. Okay. No. Alright, so it's day four and a TJ Sitz beard is like absolutely sprouting. Got some sprouters! Hashtag throwback. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. They're gone now. It's pretty sad, but I'm gonna go and grab some tucker at the general store. Hitting up the general. Hitting up the G store. Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, it's very general in here. Thanks. Okay, no worries. Oh, it's chronically raining. I'm getting really triggered by the smell of these toilets. Okay, doing our dishes in the toilet sink. Feet Santa is gonna be there, guys. Get hyped. Okay, I have something to say. What we've decided to do is since it's one o'clock, if we left now for Karakara, we would get there at midnight or past. So what we've decided to do is walk into Lock and then get the bus from Lock to Currumburra. It's wet, cold and rainy. We rage creep! <laughs> In this bonfire, they tried to burn some ominous fibrous materials, but it did not work. Who would have thought? Nayora Footy Field or a Speedway? Nayora Speedway! This section of the track is not that overgrown slash abandoned. It's because up until last year, the South Gippsland Tourist Railway used these tracks to run like old steam trains and stuff like that between Nyora to Lingartha. Tourist Railway closed down due to a lack of full-time volunteers. On the side of the very scenic rail track is the a wombat hole. Let's get a close up. It's like a wombat hole. Oh, I just fell down. Okay, no more wombat holes. Now that this track has been abandoned by the SGR, it'll slowly fall into disrepair, like the other rail tracks we were walking on the previous days. And eventually, when it becomes so beyond repair, like the tracks we were looking at the other day, the SGR, if they ever do start up again, probably won't be able to because of the repair cost to the track. So, yeah, it's pretty depressing. It's all nice and sunny now, so in a way we didn't really need to give up at lock, but we left way too late, so we kind of need to now. Okay, massive bridge here, going over a river, and you can see how tall it is, and it also has another hidden dangerousness. Bass River. There's holes between the sleepers, and if you misplace your feet, you could fall to your death. So let's go. Hey! Just remember, a lot of these sleepers are quite rotten. It's recently been raining and a lot of the sleepers are slippery. Some of the sleepers are also very bouncy and bendy.
something to document. The rail is still kind of shiny from the tourist railway. That will probably never ever happen again. There's like a rainbow ant thing. It's really awesome. There's goats about to attack Floyd. <laughs> There's goats attacking Floyd. They're going back into their paddock now. Stay there, goats. Cows, I think this bull wants to murder us. It's like a massive abandoned cistern underneath that tree. Welcome everyone to Lock Victoria. This station used to be an SGR station. This is an example of a well-maintained grass platform station. Lloyd tells me that this concrete platform was here and was a demonant because they demolished the actual station. And this here is actually the Welsh pool station that they put here. The SGR people put it there. And now to a look back to what Lock Railway Station looked like in 1993 as it faced its pending closure. Yeah. This is the last time I'm Someone makes a little hole in here and inside the old station is just like random stuff for the markets they put on. An old speaker for the station has fallen silent. Planters are made out of old laundry sinks, that's really cool. Assuming this green patch here would have been uh, car parking for the station. Yeah. This here would have also been car parking for the uh, station. Maybe I was wrong. Lions Club things. Spotted an unattended outlet. So I got my charger to my Apple Watch Series 2 and iPhone 7, but there's no power. All right, time to eat my now defunct Nyora General Store sandwich. It only has one slice of ham. It's okay, get a taste grouse. The rails are still moderately shiny. Pieces! Look at that piece! The track continues on from Lock to Karambara, but we are going on the bus. Jared Poland? Train track, epic suspension route. All right, now we need to head into lock and get the bus to Karambara. It's 4.30 by the way. <gasps> Kronos. That is a Nissan hut from World War II. And after the war, they sold them off to people because the army people didn't need them anymore because the war was finished. And so now they litter the countryside. I love this little garden area here. The bathrooms, it's really awesome. Look at that piece! Oh, there's actually heaps of people on it. Welcome everyone.
get here tonight. Oh yeah! Fennel! All right, so this is completely random, but that guy down there with the suitcase, he just comes up to us. He says, are you backpackers? And we're like, oh yeah. Yeah, we're backpackers. And he's like, oh yeah, 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 I used to be a backpacker. And uh, now I'm a traveling monk. And he told us this whole story about how he became a monk. Uh, then he became a traveling monk and he wanted to spread the word. And the guy said like, oh, you know, um, we've got these books that we give out because uh, we want to spread the word about finding the thing in life. Just finding happiness. All the stuff, in yeah. Life, yeah. And he's like, yeah, people are so busy these days, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he gave us a book and then was like, Oh, yeah, we don't ask for donations, but we just want people to give us a, a donation for the book and like, so he, he's, but he's already given us the book. I said, like, I know it was kind of rude, but I was just like, well, I, I don't want the book in the first place. So like, you can have it back. I don't want to like pay. Yeah, I was just like, uh, we don't really need the book in the time, but it comes from printing it and blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, okay, well, we'll take the book take one and we might pass it on and we better get going and he's like I asked for a donation are you gonna give it I'm like oh. but even if you go penny all right fine I'll give you a dollar by this point I was still holding the book he gave me and then he was looking at me like give me money like and I was like nope I like, gave me back the book I'm like I'm sorry like I have to be like real with you I don't want the book yeah so then he would just like smile and say goodbye and stuff I'm busy traveling I'm busy traveling I'm busy traveling, I'm busy traveling. Dairy. Yum. Oh. Noist. 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 Sing in the shower. Lucky lobster, lobster. Sing in the shower. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you're new to the zoo, please subscribe and click the bell button so you can stay tuned for more railway and abandoned themed adventures. What did you think of the video? Let me know in the comments and smash that like button. Keep your eyes peeled for the next part of this hike video. There will be a link in the description. Thanks for watching and believe in yourself.